All right, there we go. Hi everyone, how's it going? Team here and um, I've got some more free time. So I thought why not stream a bit more work on the XGS website. I would really love to finish it um, as soon as possible because I think it's gonna be a lot better than what we currently have in terms of, well, performance and hopefully looks as well. So yeah, just, you know, jumping back in and um, finishing what we started. Um, so I've spent some time off the screen to fix the ESLint problems and all that stuff because apparently it annoyed not just me, but a bunch of people watching too. So there we go. Okay, um, we finished last time on creating all episodes page and um, hell if I remember what, what happened. So let me just start it again. And we're gonna see um, what exactly happened last time. I think we finished it, but then changed the schema a bit because I've added the URL links. So I think the episodes links won't really work anymore. Let me just open that in the new tab. So yes, so they are now linking to the name, which is no longer correct, which means we got to change the query. So now here's the problem. As far as I know, Gatsby is not exactly 100% GraphQL compliant. So let me just increase this for you. So we can't really say uh, select distinct on, I believe is the official clause it doesn't have support for that. So basically what we would have to do is, I guess, I guess let's just do, so we could do groups, right? We could just be like, no, the groups won't work uh, because we need two properties. So I guess we could just select everything and then filter its client side. So this is the query we want, right? So we get all links uh, with URL and name. And um, okay, so it's gonna be, all link distinct episodes. Uh, so I guess we have to go a bit deeper. So it's gonna be edges, nodes, data. Okay, edges, nodes, and then data is gonna be episodes. That is damn of a nasty thing. Uh, hey Kepler, uh, welcome to the stream. Just passing by to say hello, I'm about to go out to meeting. Why this time? I mean, I have some time now. It's actually a lot later than I typically stream, but you know, I was like, I have time, I wanna finish this, so why not? <laughs> As usual, you know, you're more than welcome to um, to watch the VOD later on. Okay, so what did I screw up? Data episodes, uh, right, it doesn't have sort because it is, no wait, that's edges, nodes, uh, right, okay, so we got edges. Okay, so edges is actually episodes array, right? Episodes. And then each episode will have, um, okay, we can sort this later on. So I guess just go with edges here and then go episodes. Uh, episodes is gonna be edges map. We're gonna map each edge is gonna be a node, right? And the episode, we're gonna get an array, which is gonna be episode, that. come on, episode URL. And it's going to be um, nodes.data.episode URL. And then we're going to have episode name. And I think that's basically it. If I didn't screw anything up, we got no, I did screw something up. Um, right, because we are now sorting uh, that should be episode name, for example. I guess we could just use episode URL and then replace without spacebar. It's gonna be a bit cleaner. Episode URL, there we go. I might be half asleep, so I apologize if, um, you know, I do stupid things on stream. That is, <laughs> that kind of tends to happen when I'm half asleep, but you know what? I still wanna finish this today. And I'm gonna try my damn best to do that. Okay, episode, so we got name, got link. Um. Uh, hey, Captain Nasir, welcome to the stream. I mean, yeah, sure, as always, this is exactly why I'm doing the VODs. Uh, okay. Yeah, that. I mean, that looks kind of almost like what we want, but not quite. Uh, right, so we map that, and then this is gonna be, I mean, I would, I could just drag the law dash, right? But, um, okay. All episode, let's call it this way. And then episodes is gonna be episodes. 
I don't even need that, right? So I can just create episodes. And I can just go, okay, we map it first. And then we do for each episodes. And just if um, yeah, so if episodes find E so that E episodes web, come on, episode URL equals app. So the URL, then return. Otherwise, we're gonna episodes um, push EP, right? So this should basically populate them with unique episodes. There we go. Sorted. It is sorted the other direction. It should be sorted from. A, why is it sorted like this? I thought we did it last time. No. Nope. That is Oh, right, because I am. Um, okay, so I guess because the episodes, the links have a slash in front, if I remember correctly, is that the case? Yes, they do. So I guess we need to yeah, we need to replace slash episode there. And there we go. Okay, so now it sorts, we can click it, we actually get the episode um, page, which looks fine. Okay. So let me think. Uh, first of all, this is not how the episodes page should look, right? This looks why is it all centered and everything? So uh, yes, so we don't need that. We don't need any of this, I guess this we could leave. MDP eight, uh, we don't need that. Okay. Um, maybe that was too much. But okay, let's see. Let me just refresh that again. So what kind of classes do we have here? We got justify center. This is something we don't need. I think this is the only yeah, so if we kill that is going to be better uh, already. Which where is it? Is it in layout? Uh, layout call? Yeah, okay. So I guess we can just kill that because we don't want to justify anything center, which means it's going to happen on all pages. Whoops, we don't have a contact page. That's right. Uh, which is still fine. So we were Yeah, we look good. And then um, in this case, we need to add the header, um, which is gonna be episodes list, I guess, right? And class name. So let me just think for a second, uh, we do need to add Tailwind CSS uh, classes to make it look like a proper header. Um, let me just remember what what this was. So we got layout typography. There we go. Font size. I don't care about the family. Um, I think LG should work. That work. Now even bigger. Um, Excel maybe. Let's just try to find out the correct sizing here. Kind of getting there to Excel maybe and then some padding at the bottom. So how does this look? Yep. And then we got P uh, Y two, for example, there we go a lot better, uh, maybe even four, maybe a bit better. Okay, cool. And then we need to. So first of all, we don't really need that wrap in div, right? So we need to format the episodes in a proper list. Here's the question is there? Remember there was the Tailwind um, components website or something that had a nice component examples and I don't remember. Yeah, there we go. This is the one. So list do you uh, right? Okay, it's probably blocking all the CSS that it needs there. Uh, sorry, JavaScript. So list uh, contact list to do list list group uh, bootstrap for and no, that's not what we want. List group. Is this no, that is still not what we want. I mean, I guess for now, it's okay like this, right? So we don't really have any lists here. So let me think, is there any other tailwind UI? Is that the thing? Or is that the official? Yeah, this is the official one they haven't launched yet, right? Okay, let me think for a second. So how can we I mean, I guess for now, that's okay. I guess just adding some maybe padding around it will be uh, good enough see a class name p y like two just a bit more spacing that is too much. And there we go. There's something like this maybe make the um, text slightly larger text LG. Yep, yep, that looks a bit better. Um, maybe font size like three XL here. How does this look? 
There we go. This looks fine. So now we are coming to the episode rendering. So this is, uh, let me just commit that, I guess. Create a new terminal over here. Okay. Um, git adds, git commit. Um, fix. So I guess finish episode list rendering is what I want to say. Sign the commits. We're good. Okay. So we got this now we need to render the um, episode, right? So we got the template for that. At the moment, we just render everything as a pre which is not exactly helpful. So what we're gonna do is I guess we first have to transform the data itself, right? So we got here what we got the let me just copy this chase this this thing is large. Let yeah, me just copy that and paste it in a new window here, make it JSON. And we don't need that for now. So you can actually have a look at the data shape to figure out what exactly we need to do. So we got array of objects that have a field field value, which is the category. So they split by categories, right? And then we got the edges of that um, object, which is our links, which we actually want to use. Um, we also need to extract the episode name from some of them, which okay, you know what, let's let's just start by um, render, I guess, yeah, let's start by getting the episode name. So okay, let's go all the way up over here. And uh, okay, so it doesn't matter, we just take const episode name, right? Uh, we go what we go group, we go first, so it doesn't matter in this case. Then we go edges. Uh, again, we take the first one because it doesn't matter. And then we go node and data. And that is a long ass thing. Uh, episode name. Episode name is what we want, right? So, and then we go, okay, h1 class, eh, come on, class name. So, you know what? I'm just going to copy it from the previous file because I'm lazy episodes lists, we're going to grab this and paste it over here. And instead of saying episodes list is going to say episodes name, right, which should be our nice episode name. There we go. Got episode three. So once we did that, we need to take, uh, we need to iterate over the um, groups, right? So which means that we're going to say, okay, group map. So um, this is probably a better idea to rename them into groups, right? Because that makes more sense. <laughs> groups map, and we're going to get a group, which will be a div, we're gonna form a like style it later on. Uh, key is gonna be group fields value, I believe, right was a value, right? Yes, field value. Okay. And then we're gonna have h2, which is gonna be again, group field value. And um, class name here is going to be text Excel and padding by y axis is going to be like two. So in theory, we now should have nice renders for the categories. And after that, we need to render the items from the category, which means we're going to go okay, group um, edges was it edges, right? Yes, yeah, so we got edges, and then we're going to map them. And that's going to be node. So I'm just gonna de deconstruct it immediately. Again, I'm gonna wrap it into div. I'm gonna say the key whoops is gonna be nodes uh, ID. We do have node ID, which is nice. And then I guess we just have to say a href uh, is URLs. Uh, why is it called URLs if it's just one URL? I mean, URL set is something that appears like two or three times in, in the whole thing. So I don't think I will care about that for now. And then, uh, whoa, so that's note data URLs, right? Uh, this is what we want. And then we got note data title. I think that's actually all we want in here category. Yeah, it's basically all we need really need here. So in theory, there we go. I mean, obviously, we need to format that properly. But um, that's our rendering, right? So this is actually all we want to see. Um, here's the question, do we need any other properties that we already have? So we use the category, we use the episode name, we don't care about file name. 
um, you know what, we need to extract the date from the file name to show it somewhere. And then, okay, title and URL is basically all we want. So I guess um, we could, oh yeah, you know what, let's try to first make this rendering a bit nicer. So can we do PY3, is that a thing? Yes, it is a thing that looks a tiny bit nicer. So now how do we render a links here? Is there something really nice here for rendering links? I guess not really. Um, Tailwind CSS background, that's not what we want. Toolbox, um, components, they're like link list or something. Okay, no, link. Uh, simple responsive footer links, Airbnb like navbar. No, 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 we don't want that. I guess we could just basically color it slightly differently like what we have on our current website, right? So we can just go fonts. Uh, I guess colors is just color. So we could go like, um, da -da 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 -da. where's the color list? Come on now. So we could go something like color blue 500 or whatever. Um, what was the prefix again? Color primary, was it color? Um, God damn it, come on. There should be an example somewhere. Oh, come on, colors. Du, du, du. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna scroll down here and leave it at that. And where is my... So there's the BG yellow. I think it was text. Um, no, not here. Although we should color those things as well. Last name, uh, text, color. Was it just color? I think it was just color yellow 500. Like just try that just to see if that actually changes it. Uh, no, it does not. Okay, so what was the color tag? God damn it. This is one of the downsides of the tailwind is that you gotta remember all those variations. And if you forget some, it can be text color. There we go, text. Okay, so it's just text and color name. And uh, then the value there. Okay, yeah, obviously not, not that color. So we actually want, uh, where's the color stab? We want something more readable, but uh, we're getting there. So like 700 or something. That look good. Uh, maybe we actually want to use yellow to be consistent. Um, yeah, okay, maybe even darker. Now that looks terrible, actually. So let's go to blue. Yes, I am a very terrible designer. So keep that in mind. Um, let's just yeah, this looks decent, right? And then we can add a bit of padding around. No, that doesn't do anything. Um, Whoops, why is it not adding? Oh, because I'm adding the padding to a wrong thing. So actually, can I just wrap the whole thing over here, PY2, there we go. That is too much, that is still too much. Uh, what kind of padding can we actually do? Hey, Leonid, welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, sure, is it, you're like already third person, like I will watch this later on YouTube, <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's exactly why I'm uploading it to YouTube. Okay, um, let me think. I was looking for padding. Padding, padding, padding. Uh, we got P0, P1. Okay, is there, I guess P1 is the smallest one, right? So, PR, PL, yeah. Now well, maybe padding is not the best thing to do here. And P1 still looks, pretty terrible, right? Uh, unless we maybe make a text a bit bigger. On size uh, is, so we could base, this is Excel. I mean, base is fine, right? So this is the base size. Okay, you know what? For now, I'm just gonna leave it like this. It doesn't look terrible. It looks okay. I think like, I mean, there should be better separation of the category. So this definitely looks better. Uh, maybe we can make it a list. What do you think? So if we wrap this into an unordered list, right? And then this is gonna be list item. And how does this look? And I guess by default, an ordered list doesn't actually have any CSS. List style, okay, list style position. Um, uh, where's the list? List style type, there we go. List disk is what we want, I guess. 
Oh, cool. Yeah, class name that was correct. Does this look good? Okay, this looks better, but not quite there. Um, and I guess in this case, okay, text is fine. I guess in this case, we actually want to apply the text color to the link itself, because then the dot is going to remain dark. And we also want to do the inside list. Um, I think that should put it. Yeah, that looks even better. Okay. We're slowly getting there. Okay, what else can we do? responsive? This is something that should be fine, I think as is. Um, yeah, I think that's that's whoops, come on now. Come on now. There you go. I think that's okay for I mean, I still want more space between them. So let me see um, class name. PY one. So if I just add a bit more. Yeah, why is it is it is it me or is it really off the axis? Like this seems no, um, it's it is centered, right? It's just my eyesight is failing me, basically. You know what? It's okay. This looks fine. So this looks good enough, I think, for now, and then we're gonna figure it out later. Um, yeah. So I don't care about opening links in the new tab. So we're gonna leave it at that. Now, I guess we should also update the all episodes page to have the same fitting link color. We actually be Yep, there we go. That looks a bit nicer. Uh, do we even need that div here? I don't know. Okay, you know what I'm gonna leave it for now. So we got the episode one, two, three, this seems to render perfectly fine. Now, okay, so we need um, okay, let me let me commit that. Get and get commits uh, implement basic episode rendering done. Okay, so now we need to render the latest episode on the home page, which means we probably would have to start extracting the stuff into components. But uh, first things first. So we're gonna uh, grab the query, throw it in here. And in this case, we actually want just one link, right? Uh, come on. What are you? Damn it, Windows, come on. Okay, we just want one link, right? But um, ID, yeah, okay, can you actually do that? No, you can't. So I guess all links still, we want full data, including ID, and we want sort. Uh, okay, so this is where we actually want a date, right? So we need to parse. Um, right, I can basically copy this thing for now. Query all link. So we need to parse out in our plugin. We need to parse out the date from the file name, right? Collapse this. Okay, um, markdown to documents is no, okay, so it's not here. It's in the plugin itself. This is where we go. Okay, so we need to parse this out as well. So this is the two digits. Uh, first one is we're going to emit and then it's going to be year and then it's going to be week. And then we're going to have an episode name. So how do we construct a date from a year and a week? Um, MDN date is what we want, right? I'm going to go ahead and see what is the constructor day month year. Can you construct a date from week? That's the thing, right? So it's like, do I have to calculate the date myself? Or I mean, we could just go like date fun uh, f, 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 f how the hell do you pronounce it? Date fence, date offense. Um, right, okay, closest to formats is after before. Parse. No, we don't need parse. We need to create new date and then go add seconds. We need to add, we need to create a date from a year and then add weeks to it. Does it have week helper? Get days, Fridays, Monday, set day, set ISO date. Uh, no, okay. Oh boy, okay. How the, oh, there we go. Odd weeks. Perfect. Okay, so I guess we're just going to go with that because I want to reinvent that stuff myself. So this is um, okay. I guess it don't, doesn't make sense to add it to the development dependency. So I'm just going to add it to the normal ones. 
um, const date acquire date FNS. And we actually don't need the whole thing. We just need, oh, yep, that's uh, common JS, please. That is very convenient. So, I mean, in our case, it doesn't really matter what we do, but I guess I just import the whole thing because why not? Uh, it's a server side code, so we don't really care about bundle size in this case. Okay, so we parse this const um, date. No, wait, episode date is what I want. And then we're gonna create date. Can you like suggest me something, VS Codes? Are you like dead or something? Oh, you're still unstunning. Okay. <laughs> it's like, why, why is there no suggestions? Not done yet. Okay, so um, <laughs> uh, there was a mistake. I don't need to close this just yet. There was probably also a mistake, so I can close this. Okay, let me think. We don't need about, we don't care about this. So what we need is um, da -da 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 -da, create new date. So how do I create a new date? Add VIX interval closes time zones getting started. New date. So I guess I just create a new date from there, like a parse function or something. Format mar parse. There we go. So okay, so you can go parse formats, blah blah. Okay, twenty <laughs> three am new date. Format string must contain h h and a at the same time. Description. Okay, yeah, I like this. Looks like what we want. Format. This is format. I want the reverse. There's the parse. Okay. Yeah. So we basically this is exactly what we want, right? We want to parse. The uh, I guess to date is yeah, so this should work, right? So we just go to date, um, and then it's going to be 20, and then it's going to be year. Uh, hey, Space Dave, welcome to the stream. I'm doing good, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we parse the date from the year. This is going to give us the year date, right? So this is not yet episode date. Let me just log the whole damn thing because I am just to be sure that I'm actually doing this correctly. Year date. Okay. Um, and then that means we have to restart the build to actually see what's happening. Okay, come on, parse the date. And there is some date funds doesn't accept string arguments use parse ESO to parse ESO strings. Okay, I guess, wait, but you said two and onwards. Are you lying to me thing? Okay, uh, I guess you want parse, right? So we just parse this, which means, yes, yeah, so we got year, month, day, and then new date. There we go. I think that should work correctly. Uh, this is JavaScript. So we are, I mean, my channel is, you know, like about 99% of JavaScript. And then uh, sometimes we got something else. Okay, so we parse the date 2018. That sounds about right. So which means that after we parsed it, we actually can I chain it? Can I just go like add week? No, I can't. Okay. Um it fans add weeks. So this is gonna be year date, and then we're gonna add amount number, which is gonna be week. I guess let's call it weeks because this is better. Uh, thank you for following, Dave. Uh, welcome to the streaming stuff, I guess. <laughs> Java more, uh, more like Minecraft. I mean, you could probably now write Minecraft in JavaScript. Uh, but no, that's not that's like that's different from Java, right? So JavaScript is what you run in a browser and Java is well, mostly used on the back end in, in enterprise, to be honest. Episode dates. Okay, so what I'm interested in is a file name, and then I want to see episode dates, right? So, okay, let's see. Stop that. Okay, so theoretically, we should see the file. Uh, what is happening now? Episode dates. Uh, whoops, did I? Yes, I forgot the equal sign. There we go. Okay, so theoretically, we should now see right there we go 1810, which is 30. Uh, okay, 
12th March. Is that correct? PXJS Weekly. Um, did I just hear enterprise? Oh wait, yes, I mean, not the series. I mean, as in, you know, the corporate enterprise, large companies and legacy software and all the terrible things that happened there. Basically this kind of stuff. Okay, uh, 2018 week 10. So week 10 is what? Week 10 is March 5 to 11 and we got March 12, which Sounds fine. So I guess, guess we actually want to pick the Saturday because I stream on Saturdays, but that doesn't really matter. I guess it does matter, right? So how do I, can I actually get a Saturday for this week? End of day is tomorrow is, uh, okay. Can I get next Saturday or something? Set week, start of week, last day of week. Okay, week date. Uh, so I actually want last day of week minus one, right? Get weeks of months, no, end of week. So I guess this gives you the end of given week difference in weeks. Oh boy, okay, how do I, how do I properly do that? Last day of week. So we want last day of week minus one, okay. <laughs> Um, this is a week date and then const Sunday date, I guess, is gonna be date funds last day of week. So we take the last day of week from week date, right? And can I say that the last week, week starts on, there we go. So we can just say that week starts on Saturday, no, Sunday. And then the last day is going to be Saturday, right? Uh, okay, default is zero. So it actually should return Saturday already. Um, ta -da 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 -da. So uh, I guess in this case, we can just go episode date. So in theory, right now we should get the Saturday. Come on. There we go. Okay, 17th of the 17th of March. That was, is it a Saturday? It, it is a Saturday, perfect. So we actually got the correct date. Um, okay, so we derived the date from that. I guess now we need to store it into the, or send it to GraphQL. Episode name, episode URL, episode date, right? Um, and this is actually all we want. So we got the date now. It would be nice to show it somewhere, but in this case, we don't really care. So, okay, I'm gonna restart the uh, building. Uh, Gatsby is a super nice tool for building static websites. So the idea is that you build the sources for your data. Like in this case, we are getting the data from the GitHub and then Gatsby turns the source data into the GraphQL backend that you can query and statically pre-compile all your pages, which works Pretty damn well, to be honest. Okay, so we got this, we got this, uh, please work. Come on now. For some reason, Windows is not very happy about forwarding ports from the VM. Okay, anyway, so we got this, we did this. Now we, what we need to do is we need to, yes, we got episode date and we need to sort by, um, Episode date actually, right? So this is gonna give us the earliest one, but we need to sort descending, which give us the latest one. And then we just limit one, right? And then we get the latest, like the one entry from the latest episode. So this is, ex no, we don't need one entry. We need, oh boy. Okay, so I can actually get just one entry here, which is a bit annoying. Hmm. Okay, maybe this data structure is not the best, but I mean, on the other hand, you know, we're pre-compiling, so does it, even, does it even matter at this point? I guess we could, uh, can we just group again? So we group by episode URL, I guess, right? And, um, oh, can you still sort? So can we, we group sort by episode and then get, say, name and URL? 
it would give us no that doesn't seem to be sorting anything Are you sorting actually you want episode date to be included that doesn't seem to be sorted does it yeah it looks like it's a different so that's that's a bit weird why doesn't it sort the thing is it sorted within the group which <laughs> makes no sense in this case but okay fine we can do it on client side that doesn't matter okay so we basically just get the episode name url so we just get the whole thing as we did before and then we need to get the late um let me think for a second so we actually want only latest episode right how do i do this with this query should i man should i just create a separate entity for the episodes that's what i'm thinking maybe it would be better to split the entities into episodes and then links so they would simplify the querying i wonder how actually slow it will be i mean we do have like right now we got what do we have 80 episodes or something it's not too much but uh no this is the website we want weekly we got 83 episodes with um 50 links each so 500 links give or take which is i guess should be okay even in memory okay yeah i guess i guess we just get all links sorted by the episode date and then take the first one we find the first episode name and then just throw out everything else right so this probably should work okay for us but we're going to check it uh, we're going to test the build times on the full data set once i'm done here to make sure that it actually works okay so we got i forgot how you extract the data from here so it's just data and then yes okay data all link edges there we go okay and then const let's call it last episode is gonna be edges um so we take the first edge right it's gonna be first item whoops no 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 no, no. that's not what i want um uh, first item from the edges and then we're gonna take node data episode name is what we want to take right and i'm just gonna throw it in here in h1 last episode um yes yes of course there we go okay so it correctly detected when we only have three episodes this looks fine um so now we actually we actually need to render the episode but we already did that on the episode page which means we can extract this logic into the new component that will render this stuff for us okay so we got the group we got the so this is the episode name and this is the um links right so okay i'm just gonna copy the whole damn thing because i'm too lazy we don't need that we need to call this episode itself and then we need two properties in this case we need name and we need links because those might be different ones from uh from you know in this case we render from the group and the, in the other case we render from the uh, specifically from graphql so we want this to be different okay um we don't need sale layout here we don't need gatsby graphql this is fine okay so in this case this we don't need key as well do we even need this diff i, I guess we do need a diff just in case so this is going to be name and then links is going to be the edges basically where we can traverse the nodes and just render this stuff right so okay uh, in this case we can go ahead and say import episode from to components episode right and instead of doing all of this basically and say episode key is this name is group field value and uh what else did we had links is um group edges right so this is basically now what we render uh, which actually looks a lot cleaner so let's see if that actually works this does work perfectly fine um okay so now we just need to use the same episode and do that in the okay we don't need that anymore we need 
to render the latest episode here, latest episodes, let's just do it this way. And um, right, we don't actually need the episode name here. So we just do that. And then we go episode, yes. And then it's gonna be title, no wait, name is gonna be last episode. And then links is gonna be what we get. Um, const links is gonna be, so we need to filter them out, right? So we take edges and then go filter. We take all the links where nodes data episode name equals last episode, right? And then we just throw those links over here. Um, there we go, it actually works perfectly fine. So we just need to uh, make this proper header means do something like this. Okay, latest episode, episode three, um, I guess we could also render. Yeah, so we need the date, I guess, as well, just to be, you know, consistent here and show it somehow. Date, oh, uh, this is getting, okay, you know what, like, it's fine, it's fine, it's okay. This is totally fine. Um, episode date, right? Um, just throw it in here. No, not here, over here. So I guess we could just, you know what, we could just distract it, right? So we could just say episode date, episode name, and just do that. There we go. And then in here as well. So we need the name, we need the date, we don't actually have a date here which is okay. So I guess we have to find the date here, group edges, uh, like first one, node, um, what is it gonna be? Nodes data, episode date. And I actually have to include it into the query. Why don't I have, oh, I don't have URLs. Okay, so this is what I want. Okay, perfect. Cool, so now we actually need to render the date somehow. Let's just, uh, let's just do that. Dates, does it render it correctly? Last episode is not defined. Did I forgot to rename something here? Oh, right. No, not dates, name, there we go. Hey, there we go. Okay, that's not exactly pretty, but it renders it. Um, okay, so we need to tweak our episode component now to be, to render this date in slightly different format, right? So we need, first of all, to locale string, I think. I think this is how you call it, no? No, okay, MDN date is what I want. What was the date to, uh, no, that's not what I want. Did I type, no, date, okay, cool. Okay, yeah, 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 date, and I want, was it, no, to locale, yeah, so to locale string, right? That should be, oh, is it the locale string on server is, yeah, okay, <laughs> got that. Um, mm, right, so we cannot actually run that, so we cannot precompile that because it's gonna end up being like British or German or whatever, which is not nice. Or is it? Wait, this like the date thing, is it a date? Like this is, a, is it a date object or is it um, a string already? Here's the interesting idea, console log. Is it already stringified and I just get this? Okay, yeah, so it seems to be a string, which means that what we can do is we can new date. Uh, to locale string, right? So if we do that, there we go, okay. And now we just need to tweak this a bit, class name, text, um, say black hundreds, that's probably a bit, no wait, not, not black, uh, where's my tailwind? Colors, um, customizing colors, yes, where's your palettes? Uh, so we want gray 500 or something, gray 500. That is 
oh it's gray with a of course okay yep that looks better and then we need to decrease the size of the text um text on size text base i guess whoops yeah that looks kind of okay ish um what can we do with this to make it look nicer the um, make it flex align content is it justify content right is what we want no um align set God damn it. i always mess up with the flex start of flex alignments okay so we want item center is what we want uh will it work on h here's the question it does not so we want um we want actually item center no we cannot do that so we need to do this we need to be uh, we need to add another div right has item center and then has the um h2 and then has the span and this has to be flex right okay almost there so we need to say that uh padding padding i think it's pr2 that the thing yeah there we go okay almost there so this now um okay yeah yep 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 so we need to move this py over here to make it align properly and i think this looks fine okay you know what for now that's okay uh, we actually don't need the time here so to locale date string should be sufficient yep that looks okay ish um so just to be sure if we're under the first one we got third 17 yeah i mean we might want to review the date rendering later on but you know what for now that's okay it's uh renders as expected um did i not have console log somewhere okay i killed it cool um so we got the all episodes we got the home rendering which is the latest episodes we got the links we got uh probably could kill the contact thing from the nav bar because it not needed there anyway thank you very much there we go okay we got this this is working this is working this is working i why is it jumping a bit when we switch between those two i don't like oh because there's a scroll adding okay that's fine you cannot really prevent that which is totally fine and it's going to be a lot better because we're going to have a long list of episodes yeah okay git status git adds so what do we actually do we have uh parse the episode date and then parse episode date render latest episode on home page right okay cool so we i think um i mean i would say we are about 90 percent done with website so we just need some links to the twitch whatever we can throw them in in here or something or maybe make a footer with them or maybe just add them to the header here in the home page um and then we got the all episodes and then we just need to double check the visual rendering uh, as in the mobile rendering and that's basically it um yeah i think that will be it for this stream because i am almost falling asleep i i think it was <laughs> probably was a bad idea to stream right now but you know what we actually did quite a lot okay push that to the develop if you guys have any questions uh, and watching this right now on twitch feel free to throw them into the chat if no i guess we can just wrap this up here and uh yeah we'll finish this next week and deploy it to production and uh, i think it's going to be a lot better than the current website we also need to set up the github actions to make it um rebuild automatically whenever i push the new bxjs weekly episode but that is probably the easiest thing to do so there we go okay doesn't seem like there's any questions so thank you guys very much for watching and i see you next time bye